There is no fleeing from death. The angel of death grabs the soul and forcefully rips this disbelieving soul out of his body, causing his nerves, his arteries, his veins to burst. Just like pulling out of wet wool a metal piece, a piece of metal. You never try to put a piece of metal, wet wool, and try to pull it out, and it becomes hard to pull out. Very hard. And there's pain, you can even feel the pain in it. If this was alive, it comes out. And as soon as it comes out, all the angels between the heavens and the earth, all the angels in the heavens, cursed his soul. You know what cursing this soul means? Cursing this soul means the rejection of Allah's mercy. They're asking Allah Ta'ala to not have mercy on this soul. Where's all the Saturday nights, the Friday nights, the enjoyment, the alcohol, the gambling, the fornication, illicit promiscuity, sexual promiscuity. Where is it all now? Where is it all now? All the enjoyment. Wallahi, as soon as you see the angel of death descending upon him, he forgets everything. Everything is gone. All the enjoyment, all the good nights, all the good days, all the money, all the ladies, all the drugs. As though he did not enjoy, not even a minute of a second. Not a second, a minute of a second. The body is washed, it's shrouded, and being carried on the shoulders of men to the grave for the burial. And here the narration mentions that this best believing servant says what? Woe to me, where are they taking me? Where are they taking me? They are taking you to that black hole. They are taking you away to the black hole. Which you have been informed of and informed and informed as we are doing now. Day after day you are warned about your death. Where are they taking you? To that grave, the interspace. The life between the two worlds. That's where they are taking you. Where's your mother? Where's your brother? Where's your ally? Where's your bodyguard? Where's your security? Where's your good deeds? Where's your good deeds? That's the only thing that can help you by the mercy of Allah. Subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, this is say a hundred dollar bill, the largest bill on, in Australia. Let it be a billion dollar bill. This bill, a billion dollars, is this going to save you from hellfire? And how can a person be a slave to a paper? A piece of paper, paper, that can be torn, destroyed. How can a man or a lady be a slave to a paper? Worth nothing, nothing at all. Think. The money that you are given is only to get you through this life. Not so you can hold and store worldly possession day after day. Every cent that you are given is an examination for you. It's going to be either for or against you. Those who just will always store, hoard, gather. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, my children. Oh, my children. I'm going to for my children, they say. Load of lies load of garbage. So they're taken to the grave. The body's in the grave. The soul reunites with the body. And he hears the thumping of his companion's shoes, leaving the grave. And thus begins the ultimate examination, the ultimate test. Where's the HSC now? 
Where is the degrees? Where is the thesis of the PhD or the masters? That's all about Lord. This is the test. This is the test. He hears the thumping of his companion shoes leaving the grave. And then two angels, bluish, blackish, stern angels for severe reprimand. Name Munkar Wanakir, shake the body. They make him sit upright. Get up. He will sit up in a state of fear, terror. Scared. Imagine yourself, guys. Sisters, imagine yourself. This is not a fairy tale. This is reality. It's a fact. Imagine yourself on that, on that day. Well, why are we all going to confront this? Munkar Wanakir. We are going to confront them before our very eyes. This is not a fairy tale. This is what's going to happen to all of us. They confront him. Who is your Lord? They will ask him. Who is your Lord? Oh, la adri. I do not know, he says. He doesn't know. La darayta wa la You do not know, nor did you recite. What is your religion? Ah, oh, la adri. I do not know. Who was the man that was sent amongst you? Oh, I heard someone say some such and such else said him. And then it will be said, You did not know, nor did you read about him, whereby he will be hit with a metal hammer. A metal hammer, causing him to scream in severe pain, whereby all creation hears him except man and jinn. And thus, the Almighty Lord here answers or announces the test result of this examination from the heavens. My servant life! Imagine your Lord saying, my servant life! Brothers and sisters, Subhanallah, is that what you want to hear in the grave? Your Lord calling out from the heavens, my servant voice. Is that what we want to hear? Allah, brothers and sisters, no. Allah, brothers and sisters, no. And you have the chance that you can make that answer. My servant tells the truth. You have the, you have the ability still until this day because you're still alive.